Amigos, welcome to another After Effects tutorial and a shout out to Aperture for sending me this new LED light which I'm using right now to light up this shot. We'll be doing a video review of the Tri-8C LED light very soon. I'm excited because it's an awesome light. Now for this After Effects tutorial, we'll be using essential graphics to swap out different background images. If you haven't seen my tutorials on the basics of essential graphics, check it out. I'm putting a link in the description. Now the advantage of using essential graphics to swap out different images is that once you set it up in After Effects, you can create totally new graphics in Premiere, which is amazing. And if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm doing my very best to give you quality After Effects tutorials and I can only do that with your help and support. And remember that life is truly a gift, so make it count. Let's begin by opening up the Essential Graphics panel. Head over to the Window menu. Let's go to Essential Graphics and let's make this bigger. And I set up different controls already for this composition. I don't have any animation so far. It's just to give you a quick overview of what this tutorial is going to be about. And that is how to change the background image of this Essential Graphic pre-comp. So this is very powerful. For example, we can go to two, we can change this background color. We can change the name. Let's go to the name. We can change the rotation of this bar. We can move it and we can make it gray. So this is very powerful because you can do this all inside Premiere. You can just set it up and then inside Premiere, you can make all of these adjustments, which is really cool. And let me show you how to do that. And what I'm going to do is delete this pre-comp right here because all the magic comes from this pre-comp. So let's delete it. And let's go to this folder called Athletes. Now, these are the images that are I'll be using for this example. We have Cody Bellinger, Drew Brees, LeBron James, Lionel Messi, and Tom Brady. So I have five images. We're gonna use these five examples and you can bring in as many images as you want. You can have 20, you can have 30, it doesn't matter. Now, the most important thing right now is go through your images and figure out which one has the biggest pixels, size and pixels, the biggest resolution. And it's this one, Cody Bellinger, which is 3200 by 1680. And let's grab this JPEG. Let's bring it to the composition icon to create a comp with that same size. Now hit Control K to open the composition settings. Let's rename it to Athletes. And let's choose the frame rate. I'm working at 29.97. And this is very important. Now we're working with five images. So we want the duration to be five frames. If you're working with 10 images, it would be a duration of 10 frames. If you're working with 21 images, it would be a duration of 21 frames. Now make sure that you are in frames. So if you're not, you can see right here in my time code, we're working in frames. All you need to do is hit control to switch from time to frames. And once you do that, hit control K to open up the composition settings. And now you can switch and put exactly the number of frames. So in this case, like I mentioned, I have five images. So the duration will be exactly five frames. Let's hit okay. And let's bring in our images. Let's bring it in here and select all of your images. And let's alt right bracket to trim. And let's drag each one and each one will have a duration of exactly one frame. So you can see that we have Cody Bellinger, we have the next one is Drew Brees, and you can see that there's transparency, but it doesn't matter because we'll give it control so we can scale this background image. We have LeBron James, Messi, and Tom Brady. Okay, let's close this comp, and let's go to our main comp, which is this graphics athlete title card. Let's bring in our pre-comp, let's bring it in here, and let's zoom in. Let's right click, go to time and go to enable time remapping. Now let's delete this second keyframe, which pretty much what it does is we're freezing on the very beginning. And let's just extend this. Let's extend it all the way to the very end of our composition. So right now we're frozen on the very first one 
and we go to the fir very first one you can see is Drew Brees the second one is Cody Bellinger and let's actually do this so it's a lot easier so you can see number one is Drew Brees the second one is Bellinger third is Messi and so on okay now we're going to write a very simple expression that will control which image we want to select so let's go select this pre-comp go to effect go to expression control and slider control and let's rename it to bg image and let's all click on the stopwatch to open the expression box and let's write in a very simple expression now the very first thing that we're going to write is a variable and a variable is simply a container that holds a value in real life a container for example a bottle is a container and a bottle can contain water it can contain soda it can contain Gatorade it can contain other types of liquid it can also contain for example you can put sand or dirt in a bottle so it's the same thing a variable is just a container so we're gonna name this container F F because it'll represent frames so F is equal to whatever the value that we select in the slider so what we're going to do is use this pick whip. Let's click on it and drag to the slider because After Effects will automatically generate this line of code for us. Perfect. Let's add a semicolon because we're going to write another line. And now we need to protect ourselves because what happens, we have five images, but what happens if we put accidentally put a value of eight? It's not going to work. So we need to write an if then statement. And we need to say if our container, our value, if f is greater than 5. And the reason we're using 5 is because we have 5 images. Now, if you have 9 images, for example, you will put if f is greater than 9. But in this case, if f, which is our variable, is greater than 5, then we want that variable to just simply equal 5. That's it. So just put parentheses f is greater than 5 or whatever the number of images you have then put bracket f is equal to 5 so just type in exactly how you see it and obviously if you have 12 images you instead of 5 you would put 12 and the same thing here now we're gonna write one more line of code and let's go here let's click here let's go to global and it'll be frames to time and what we need to do is we need to give it two variables number one is frames and the second one is our frame rate so what we want to do is give it our variable f but before we do that before we do that let me go to our pre-comp and pay attention if we select our first image which is Drew Brees the frame actually starts at zero so if we select our first image is actually one less for example Cody Bellinger is our second image but is at frame one Messi is our third image but it starts at frame two because we're starting at zero we're not starting at one okay so what we need to do is just simply put our variable which is F and we're going to subtract one and let's put in our frame rate. Our frame rate is 29.97. Now, if your frame rate is 24 frames per second, then you're going to write 24 for the frame rate. Let's put a semicolon and let's select out. And now here in this slider, we can go between and select the different images. You can see now we can choose which image we want to select, which is pretty cool. If we select 10, it'll just keep it on LeBron James. Okay, now what we can do, once we have that set up, we can go to effects, let's go to this slider, and we can add it to our essential graphics. Let's drag this inside here, and we can also hit S for scale and shift P for the position. Let's grab these two, let's put it here, and we can also add, let's add a black and white, Go to color correction let's go to black and white and let's make this soft light and what we can do is for the black and white let's drill down 
Let's go down to compositing option. And you see, you see this effect opacity. It controls how much of the black and white you want in this image. So we can bring this property into our essential graphics. And let's check it out. So we have this one will be our BG image, our background image. This will be our background position, the background scale, and the background black and white opacity. Let's just put opacity. So now we can select, for example, number three, which is messy. We can scale it up. We can move it and we can make it completely black and white. And of course, you can go up here and you can change the name, Lionel Messi. That is how you can swap an image using Essential Graphics. And it's the same technique if you want to swap the logos as well. Just use it on another pre-comp. And once you're ready, you can export the motion graphics template. And inside Premiere, you can swap all these images and you can make all these adjustments pretty easy.